Hello and welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club. Let's go. We're gonna go home with Sayori and go write in our poem. <laughs> Sayori beams at me. It truly has been a while since Sayori, I have spent, Sayori and I have spent this much time together. I can't really say I'm not enjoying it either. Yeah, her and her unbuttoned blazer though, I tell ya. She's the devil. That's the greatest horror in this whole experience so far is her unbuttoned blazer that we had to touch her, so we had to touch her. <sighs> Sorry, I'll never let that go. Hope you're all doing well. <laughs> Sayori, about what happened earlier. Eh? What do you mean? What do you mean? You know, between Yuri and Natsuki. I still feel really bad for Natsuki in this whole situation. Does that kind of thing happen often? No, no, no. That's really the first time I've ever seen them fight like that. I promise they're both wonderful people. I wonder if the introduction of a, a guy everybody likes into this makes it makes everybody very competitive. You don't you don't hate them, do you? No, I don't hate them. I just wanted your opinion, that's all. I can see why they'd make good friends with you. Phew. You know, Holly, it's nice that I get to spend time with you in the club. But I think seeing you get along with everyone is what makes me the happiest. And I think everyone really likes you, too. That's... <laughs> Every day is going to be so much fun. Uh... It looks like Sayori still hasn't caught on to the kind of situation I'm in. Sure, being friends with everyone is nice, but does it really need to stop there? You? <laughs> we'll just have to see what the future holds, Sayori. But what... I pat Sayori on the shoulder. I said that more to myself than to her, but it's easy to use Sayori as an internal monologue sometimes. Okay. Yeah. Let's do this. I mean, she's the safest bet, right? It would be nice if, if you could, like, date your, like, friend. But, um... Anyway, I'm just gonna pick random words again. I think. For the most part. I think I would like to do that. I have no deter I have no determination. But, you know, I like that being there because it's Undertale for me. That uh seeing all knowing that I have to impress one of these girls something something fills me with determination. Cheer. Always cheer. Holiday cheer. Ooh, I like Doki Doki, but let's try to be disown. Um, let's do melody. Ooh, together depression. I love that there's words. Uh, huh. uh, desire. Ooh, together horror. See, this is just me picking words that make Sayori happy just by me being me. Electricity. I hate the word destiny. This is like the same words before. Vivacious. Bouncy. Mmm, this one's hard. Special? Vertigo? Hmm. Vertigo. Oh, she likes big words, huh? Awesome! Imagination. Oh, I think I'm going to get Yuri this time. I, I can't help it. It's just the way it's going. Adventure Parfait I like Everyone likes parfaits You don't say someone I want to go get some parfaits They don't say no You know parfaits have got to be the best treat on the whole dang planet Fire out them fireworks You know fireworks still gym they explode Ah ah Robert plus Doki Doki Literature Club. Fireflies, Desu. Um, Starscape? Nah. Just because I know what's going to happen if I pick that. Oop. Email. 
Amen. That's the word the strong bad likes. Spinning. Vacation. Holiday. Holiday and cheer in the same poem. Imagine. <laughs> Massacre. Crimson. Let's see what happens. I'm going to get Yuri this time. Hope you're all hanging in there doing good. Another day passes and it's time for the club meeting already. So we don't have to worry about anything else. We're just going to the club meetings. I've gotten a little more comfortable here over the past couple days. Entering the club room, the usual scene greets me. Hi, Holly. Y Yo, Sayori. Looks like you're in good mood today. <laughs> I'm just still not used to you being in the club, that's all. This is day three. I see. That's all. God. That's a pretty simple thing to get you in a good mood. But I guess it's always the simple things with you anyway. Speaking of which, I'm kind of hungry. Will you come with me to buy a snack? Uh, no thanks. Ah, uh, that's not like you at all. I have my reasons. Why don't we take a look at your purse, Sayori? Ah, uh, <laughs> why that all of a sudden? No reason, really. I just wanted to look at it. I just wanted to. I just wanted to embarrass you about not having money. Uh -huh. Sayori nervously retrieves her coin purse. She fumbles with the latch and gets it open. Then she turns it upside down and lets the contents fall on the desk. Only two small coins fall out. <laughs> I knew it. I could see right through you, Sayori. That's not fair. How'd you even know? It's simple. If you had enough money in the first place, you wouldn't have bought a snack. You would have bought a snack before coming to the club room. So either you're not hungry and wanted an excuse to take a walk. Or you plan to conveniently forget you spent all your money, that I would need, then I would lend you some. But there's one more thing. You're always hungry. And so, that only leaves the one option. Oh, I give up. Don't mis make me feel guilty. If you feel guilty, that means you deserve to feel guilty. Oh, you, you jackass! No! Don't say this! Who says stuff like this to people? Uh-huh. Yuri suddenly giggles. Eh? I didn't notice that she was listening in. Her face is in their book as always. Uh, I, I wasn't listening to anything. I was just something in my book. Yuri! Tell Holly to let me borrow some money. That's... Don't get me involved like that, Sayori. Besides, you should only buy what you can responsibly afford. Frankly, after pulling a mischievous little, mischievous little stunt like that, your suffering is fair enough retribution. Wow, you're kind of mean. Uh, uh, did I just... I didn't mean that. I get too absorbed in my book. Uh, <laughs> I really like it when you speak your mind, Yuri. Hmm. I thought that was kind of mean. It doesn't happen much, but it's a fun side of you. That's... There's no way you could think that. You were right, though. I did something bad, and now I have to accept the revolution. Retribution. That. Still coming from you, Sayori. I guess there's a little devil inside all of us, isn't there? Hmm. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Don't let her fool you. Sayori knows exactly what she's doing. After all, she told you guys she was bringing me here to the club before she even told me. But, but, you wouldn't have come if it weren't for the cupcakes. So I had to trick Natsuki into making them. Come on, give me even more credit. Give me even more credit than that, Sayori. <laughs> Cha! Out of nowhere, something smacks Sayori in the face and tumbles onto the desk. Oh, um, what was... Uh... A cookie? Sure enough, it's a gigantic cookie wrapped in plastic. Sorry, he glances around. It's this a miracle? Is it because I paid my restitution? Retribution. Actually, that one almost worked. Ahaha! I was just gonna give it to you! But then I heard you blab about the cupcakes. It was totally worth seeing your reaction, though. Ahaha! Natsuki! That's so nice of you. I'm so happy. 
Sora hugs the cookie. Jeez, just eat it. Sora rapidly tears open the wrapper and takes a big bite. So good. Mm. Sora suddenly claps her hands over her mouth. I bit my tongue. <laughs> You're going through a lot just over one cookie. Natsuki takes a bite of her own cookie. Ah, uh, yours looks really good too, Natsuki. Can I try it? Jeez. Beggars can't be choosers. But yours is chocolate. Yeah, why do I think gave, I gave you that one? Fine. Still, I'm really happy that you shared this one with me. Uh -huh. Sora gets out of her seat and goes behind Natsuki and wraps her arms around her. Ah, jeez. I get it, I get it. Cookie still in hand, Natsuki reaches up to nudge Sayori off her. Um. Sayori suddenly leans down and takes a bite out of Natsuki's cookie. Hey! Did you just seriously just do that? <laughs> Mouthful, Sayori trots away to safety. Yuri and I laugh as well. Jeez, you're such a kid sometimes. Monica, can you tell Sayori... Huh? Natsuki glances around. Monica isn't in the club room. Ah. Uh, where's Monica anyway? Good question. Have any of you heard anything about her being late today? Not me. Yeah, I haven't heard either, either. Hmm. That's a bit unusual. I hope she's okay. Of course she's okay. She probably just had something to do today. She's pretty popular, after all. Huh? You don't think she... She has a... Uh -huh, I wouldn't be surprised. She's probably more des desirable than all of us combined. Hey, don't sell yourself short here. You're all fine young women. <laughs> That's true. I mean, you got you got super perv here, like lusting after the three of you, or at least two of you. I don't know if he he cares about Sayori, even though I don't know. Excuse me. Suddenly, the door swings open. Sorry, I'm super sorry. Ah, there you are. I didn't mean to be late. I hope you guys weren't worried or anything. Eh? Monica chose the club over her boyfriend after all. You're so strong-willed. A boyfriend? <laughs> what on earth are you talking about? Monica quizzically glances at me. Ah, uh, never mind that. What held you up anyway? Ah, uh, well, my last period to do was study hall. To be honest, I just kind of lost track of time. <laughs> that makes no sense, though. You would have heard the bell ring, at least. I must not have heard it since I was practicing piano. Piano? I wasn't aware you played music as well, Monica. I don't really. I just kind of started recently. I've always wanted to learn piano. That's so cool. You should play something first, Monica. That's... Monica looks at me. Maybe once I get a little bit better, I will. Yay. That sounds cool. I'd also look forward to it. Is that so? In that case, I won't let you down, Holly. Monica smiles sweetly. Uh, I didn't mean any pressure or anything like that. <laughs> don't worry. I've been practicing a whole lot recently, and I'd really love a chance to share once I'm ready. I see. In that case, best of luck. Thanks. So I didn't miss anything, did I? Not really. I choose to leave out Sarah's mischievous escapade. I'm sure Natsuki will end up complaining to her anyway. It looks like everybody has already settled down. Sayori somehow has already finished her entire cookie. Yuri is back to her book and Natsuki has disappeared, disappeared into the closet. Hey, Holly, Holly! Sayori suddenly comes up to me. I'm going to go get some supplies from another classroom. Want to come with me? Supplies? What for? Well, you know how the festival's coming up. Me and Monica were going to make some posters and stuff. So I need to go find some crayons and markers and glue sticks? I see. Sure, I'll go with you. Yay! Okay, Monica, we'll be back soon. Are you going with Holly to get the supplies? There's no need to trouble yourself. I'd be happy to go with them. Ah, but I wanted to go. It's so much fun exploring empty classrooms and stuff. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, it was just a suggestion. See if you can find poster paper too, okay? Okay. Ready, Holly? Yep, let's go. Oh, a, a change. Oh, it's just the hallway, though. Sayori and I exit the club room. I follow behind the story, hums and skips around the hallway. Honestly, it feels like I'm taking time to a kicking kid to the mall or something. I'd be in real IRL, man. I love her energy. Sayori finds pleasure in the simplest things sometimes. Sayori is 
a vibe, man. That is the best thing you can possibly do. Hey, Sayori. What exactly are we doing for the festival, anyway? I'm not sure how you would make even make an event out of literature. <laughs> Me and Monica have it all planned out. Don't you worry. Is that so? Yep. We're going to do a poetry performance. A performance? Of what kind? Well, everyone's going to be taking turns on stage and recite their favorite poems. Uh, that sounds kind of dull. Holly, you're not thinking about it the right way at all. It's not just about reading poems. It's about performing them. Oh, shoot. See, excuse me. Like, you say the lines of the poem, like, Between my feet, the last remaining flower beckons to me. I twist the stem, freeing it from its clinging roots, caressing the final joyous, mo joyous moment before my fingers. But to what ends have I summoned this joy? For now, when I look in every direction, the once prosperous field before me is but a barren wasteland. Like that. Sayori, how, how do I put this? I'm sure it's just me, but it's impossible for me to take you seriously when you talk. Yeah, screw you, buddy. Screw you, buddy. She's adorable. Screw you. Uh, you meanie. I'm working super hard on this, you know. I know, I know. I just meant that it's pretty unordinary contrast to your cute self. Aha, uh -huh, don't worry about that. It, don't say that. It's embarrassing. But I guess that means I'm doing a good job. I guess so. I'm so excited. The festival's going to be so much fun. Sayori spins herself around the hallway again. Hey, Holly, the classroom over here is empty. Let's begin the mission. The mission, eh? It's been a long time since I spent time with Sayori like this. But in the end, she hasn't changed one bit. She's nothing but a ball of sunshine drawing happy vibes from the world around her. It's a pretty nostalgic feeling for me. As the years went by, I began to hole myself up in my room more and more. So going on adventuring with Sayori brings about a special sort of feeling I forgot I had in me. So I wonder if this happens or if this is because of the the words I picked. I know I picked the word adventure. The two of us enter the classroom. Hey, a different different background. We get we did get one. Sorry, head straight to the closet and I follow. Actually, was this the very beginning of the, the game we were in this classroom background? I think so. Let's see what we have in here. Crayons. Sorry pulls a box full of crayons off the shelf. They're the best brand too. They're kinda dirty though. Sayori starts pulling various crayons out of the box, reading the color names. Alright, that's one down. Don't get distracted. We need, still need to find... Wait, I'm looking for my favorite color. Fine, fine. Now at least move aside so I can look for poster paper. I dropped one by accident. <laughs> Ka! Sayori bends over and smacks her forehead right into the shelf. She falls to the floor and the crayons spill all over her lap. Ow, 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 ow. You okay? My forehead! Sayori clutches her forehead. Geez, Sayori, that's just like you, isn't it? Come on, let me see. Since Sayori's still sitting on the floor, I grab her by the waist and pull her out of the closet. Oh, bad touch! You have to move your hands, Sayori. But it hurts. Just do it for a second. Oh, hey, we did get, we're getting all these Sayori camera angles. I wonder if I'm just getting these things with Sayori because of the poems, or if this is what normally happens in the game. I don't know. Sayori so slowly releases her hands from her forehead and gently brushes her bangs to the side. Ow, sorry. There's a huge red mark in the center of her forehead. A bump is starting to form as well. Man, that's gonna swell up. I should find you some ice. Holly! Where would I even find ice around this time? I guess the cold drink would do. You don't have to. I'm fine with looking like a unicorn. Even wincing from the pain, Sayori makes a silly joke. This is how a unicorn talks. Aha, uh -huh, what are you saying? I'll be right back, okay? Okay. I pat Sayori on the shoulder and run out into the hallway. I locate the nearest vending machine. What should I get? It doesn't really matter. She'll use this nice pack rather than to drink it. But I know Sayori likes apple juice, so I purchased that one. In just a moment, I'll return to the classroom where I left Sayori. She has one palm on her forehead and is using the other hand to clumsily scoop crayons back into the box. At least they were already in the wrong spots before I spilled them. Sorry, here. I, is there other wrong spots in a box of crayons? I guess they usually come in like a rainbow. So if also, why don't those crayons have any wrappers on them? Oh my god! Did did Japanese crayons look like that? Or were these people just doing? Oh wow, they even drew the apple juice. Anyway, do, do, do they just 
skimp on the art for the sake of, you know, all the detail in this already. I don't know. I hand Sawyer the bottle of apple juice. It's nice and cold. Sawyer opens the cap and starts drinking from it. Sorry, what are you doing? It's for your forehead, idiot. Ah, uh, sorry, I forgot. <laughs> How hard did you hit your head? Sorry places the bottle against the bump on her head. It stings. Just bear with it. It'll feel better soon. It looks like you cleaned up most of the crayons, so that's good. Hey, Holly. This kind of reminds us of you of growing up, doesn't it? Uh, what do you mean? You know how we used to play outside all the time? I would always try to keep up with you. You were kind of oblivious in some ways. Like I usually fell behind or had trouble climbing on the things you did. But sometimes when I tried to do things I couldn't, I would get myself hurt. I'd fall and scrape myself or get a bump, and I would start crying really hard. <laughs> and you would rush over as quick as you could. You would try really hard to get me to stop crying. It was almost as if you blamed yourself and were afraid of getting in trouble if someone found out. Even though it really wasn't at all your fault at all, you know. Did, did I really do that? Yeah, you don't remember. Come to think of it, maybe I do remember a bit. Maybe I was a better person when I was a kid. I guess I was always so focused on my games I didn't pay enough attention to you. So in a way, it was my fault. Kind of like this time, too. If I wasn't rushing you out of the closet, you probably wouldn't have hit your head. Holly, I don't think you realize it, but you're always thinking about other people. Even after all these years. You're rushing to help me even though I'm just being a bit clumsy. You're really a sweetheart. D don't call me that! And I don't really do this kind of thing all the time. I guess when it comes to you, it just feels natural. Before I even know it, I'm treating you like that. I guess that's what happens when you've been best friends for so long. Really? Maybe you're right. Holly, I'm so glad that nothing changed between us. Do you think it'll be like this forever? Forever? If I'm honest to myself, there's no telling where we'll each end up for college and, or after that. So it wouldn't be fair for me to make any promises. But, well, I hope so. It's been this long already, right? I can't imagine it ever changing, so my hopes are up. I'm so happy. Sayori has a whimsical expression in her eyes. We remain silent for a moment. She's so silly and clumsy on the outside that when I see her deep in thought like this, it makes me not want to disturb her. I guess we should go back. I don't want to worry Monica, you know. Or make Monica too jealous, because she obviously wanted to go with me herself. Good luck with that. She's going to see your forehead either way. Not if I hide it under my bangs. Okay. Sayori hops to her feet. Uh, we'll go back and see Monica next time. We had a nice moment. I think I'm maybe romancing the childhood friend, which is probably the angle that I normally would go if I was me anyway, so you know. Kind of the thing I'm into. Uh, we'll see you for the next Doki Doki.